Welcome back to Shennington for the annual Super Pre and New English Championship event. It's the IARMY Cadet E-Plate race up next. The top ten on the grid look like this. Leonardo Panaitu off pole. I think that's the way he pronounced his name anyway. I think I'm just going to call him Leonardo for the rest of the day. That's the grid from 11 to 20. And the rest of the grid looks like that. 23 drivers taking place. Drivers from eight years of age with a 60cc engine. This is the official British Championship class. We've got a few drivers running wide. Oh, and they're getting collected. Looks like Anthony Panay too. They're running into Marcus Littlewood as he came back on the circuit. So it looks like Marcus is out, spun out in Cafe Corner. That's pretty much his day done. The 17 car, Antonio Panaitu involved in that as well. And he's right the way down the back of the field. It's the 44 car that leads it. That's Leonardo out front. Got uh, the pole position for this final and he's going to be looking to add the E-plate to his cart and the English Championship title for the next 12 months or so as Jamie Mead makes a really nice move up the inside for second. Drops the 68 of uh, Connor Kearney back a place to third, so Connor back to third. But he's not having any of that as through Park Bendy sweeps back into second place and drops Jamie Mead back into the third place he inhabited originally. So Leonardo out front as he come through the left-hander at uh, Pitts Bend. Leonardo's got three or four cart lengths as Mead looks up the inside of Connor again and makes that move stick. And Connor runs wide on the exit and loses another place, does he? A little bit of contact. The 42 of Caden McQueen comes through for third. Always exciting racing in this uh, cadet class for drivers from eight years of age, of course. It's not the youngest cadet class now in MSA racing. That's the Bambino class. That's the introductory class that uh, does time qualifying sessions as the 35 card of Matthew Rees takes the overtaking opportunity through Wilkins and moves himself up into fourth place. Leader is Leonardo, followed by Mead, McQueen, Rees, Kearney, Williams, Cornell makes up a place, Hall, Yardley, Rose, Speed, Sam Shaw, Tapaldo, Cole, Max Baxter, Davis. Here comes Sam and Will Day and uh, Hancock. Couldn't quite make out the uh, three cuts at the very back of the field. Now, don't forget, if this is sort of sport that you think your kids might like, if you want to find your local kart club and circuit, check out the Association of British Kart Clubs website at www.abkc.org.uk. Every single kart club and track is listed there. Now, there will be a kart circuit near to you. You may never have even heard of it. That was certainly the case with me. I live uh, about 40 miles away from Three Sisters in Wigan. Never even knew it was there as uh, the gladiator Maximus Hall makes his way through to sixth place through Wilkins with a very sweet move. I was just saying that uh, I didn't know Three Sisters in Wigan was there 40 miles away from me. I'll go further than that and actually admit that I actually didn't realise when my friend and colleague suggested we take our kids to Three Sisters in Wigan. I didn't realise at the time there were such things as outdoor car circuits. I thought they were all corporate <laughs> uh, facilities and uh, didn't realise that there were championships. Of course, with the success of Lewis Hamilton at Formula 1, the fact that Lewis always mentions his karting routes, it's now uh, a lot easier for people to understand where the kids start their racing careers. These are the front three, well out front. That's the uh, 68. He's got a little bit of work to do to close them up. There's Connor Kearney. Leaders through the stripe one more time, getting towards the business end here. Yeah, that was the extent of my karting knowledge way back then. And some will argue, as we see the 79 remonstrating with somebody, he's not happy about something. Yeah, that was the extent of my karting knowledge way back in 1999. Some will argue it's um, not got much better since then. However, let's concentrate on the racing. We've got the leaders closing in on the uh, back marker. That is uh, the 79 of AJ Arnold, who's had some sort of issue, obviously. We saw him with his hand in the air previously. He's going to have to get out of the way for the leaders, and the leaders are Leonardo Pinaitu out front with Caden Queen right in behind. So uh, AJ getting out of the way. Good awareness by him. Didn't show the blue flags, obviously. So Leonardo out front. Caden all over the back of him in second place, and Jamie Mead. Close enough, if good enough, in third place. He's just losing the back of the front two, though. Kearney and Reese battling for fourth and fifth in a 20 car. Lorenzo Corral makes a place back on the Gladiator Maximus Hall. 
So uh, he's lost that place somewhere on the circuit, but it looks like he's got it back through uh, turn one at Park Bend. Here they come up to the top of the circuit one more time. That's the 68 of Kearney. Connor Kearney with Matthew Reese in behind. We've got a new race leader as well. Katie McQueen out of the shot of the camera there in the hairpin took the lead. So the uh, man on the Synergy chassis, and he's already pulled, look at that, five or six cart lengths coming out of Bruno Ferrari chicane. Has a quick look over his shoulder. That's allowed the uh, 97 of uh, Jamie Mead to get that much closer to the former race leader and he's through to second place. Now that will have helped the uh, leader out now, Caden McQueen. That will have given him an extra advantage, probably another two car lengths. And then these two battling is helping him again because Leonardo back up the inside, back into second place. He's having none of it. It's all kicking off here at Shellington for the English Championship. The E-plate is on the line, the very first E-plate in this class. And they all fancy it on their cart for the next 12 months as set up the inside for second place. Back is Mead again. Now, interestingly enough, although they've been battling with this, they, they seem to have closed the leader down. So, has Caden McQueen got the pace out front to stay there? You know what? I don't think he has, you know, because these two have been battling they've been swapping places in that lap and even though they've done that normally that would give Caden McQueen a big advantage as he looks over his shoulders sees a boast there they're still battling but look at this this still close enough to him I don't think Caden McQueen's got enough speed to stay there you know I think he's going to come under pressure sometimes very soon and these two could come back into it as well here come the rest 20 cart is Lorenzo Cordell in comes Charlie Topado Cole in the 26th 16 was Harry Radley Rose the 18 just going through the shot there he was in 8th place at the start he's dropped some places but Sam Shaw on the 18 making his way back through the field and here's that uh, leader under pressure now Caden McQueen has said I didn't think he looked like he had the pace and it doesn't look like he has they're all over the back of him as Jamie Mead comes back through for second place Leonardo Panaitu drops back into third but for how long not very is the answer he's up the inside has he got that spot he has back into second place through Hangar Bend with uh, me back in third, but look at this, the uh, drivers battling for fourth and fifth, they're not battling for fourth and fifth anymore, they're battling for the win, they're on the back of the uh, lead group now, five carts in the train, but they all want to be the train driver at the end, they don't want to be a carriage, five in it, only one can win it as the rest of the carts stream across the line, one more time, three laps to go as they cross the line there, here are the leaders, it's McQueen from Panay to Mead, Connor Kearney's in fourth and Matthew Reese there in fifth place, but uh, they're certainly close enough, the driver's in fourth and, fourth and fifth now to uh, win this. They will need these carts in front to start battling over the next few laps and certainly they're going to have to do that. They can't leave it until the last lap, that's too late. They want to get something done before then. But McQueen is just managing to hold on at the moment. Despite the fact I said earlier, I'm not sure he had the pace. But who knows, he's got two laps to hold on. Can he do it? Leonardo looks like he's lining him up for a moving cafe corner. As they come into cafe, Panay to up the inside for the lead. So the man on the zip chassis, McQueen, has had to succumb to the pressure. Now, can Leonardo hold on as he come up uh, Stratford straight into Stratford hairpin one more time? McQueen will want to try and get that place back as soon as he can. He doesn't want to sit there. Just one and a half laps to go down runway into Bruno Ferrari chicane. He'll get a chance in the right-hander at Hanger if he gets a run out of the chicane. Looks like he's close enough. Now, will the man in, in first place defend? He's sort of thinking about it. He moves across and defends his line into uh, Wilkins for the penultimate tie. Here comes me for second. And does he drop McQueen? Back contact. McQueen across the grass. He's held on to second. But that's given Panetto the win. I think now this, we're into the last lap as uh, Graham Smith makes his bid for some TV time. The former BBC man walking in front of the camera. What's he doing? Jamie Mee's put in the fastest lap. But is it enough to take the win? It looks like Panaitu's who's got it wrapped up. The battling through Wilkins has given him enough of a lead. He's going to hold on to that. Mead now is battling with the Caden McQueen for a podium spot here. The 35 carts through to second. That's Matthew Reese. He was in fifth earlier on. Through to second now. He's going to take second place down, undoubtedly. The winner and second place. That's all set. But who's going to get the final stop of the podium? Mead now defending from Caden McQueen. Is he going to hold on? Is McQueen going to give him a shove through Wilkins? He doesn't. No contact there. It's Meadle take third, but it's Benayatu takes the win. 
Here comes a chequered flag, Leonardo for the win. In second place, it's Matthew Rees from Jamie Mead, Caden McQueen and Connor Kearney. The I-Army Cadet class delivers action once again. That's the official result. The E-plate goes to Panay 2. Fantastic racing and more to come. Somebody get my heart pills.